Okay, how you doing? Um, I just watched Lee's newest video, and he's talking about how matter is dead and everything, everything, all this typical bullshit. Um, and talk about spirit and everything. And um, if if you want to get into semantics, I would equate his spirit speech to the EM field because that is, you know, where all magnets hang at 1,748 hertz. Um, that's why they exhibit the 1,748 hertz. Now, granted, Earth's magnet itself is a different frequency than 1748 hertz but it is still on the EM field at 1748 hertz just like you with your magnet each magnet is the same as the next look you can see right here clearly we have objects within lunar distance you can see at night clearly all right now back to the original reason I'm doing this. You see Iswa here. You see this right here where she is drawing in energy from the bow shock. The bow shock is an electric flow coming in from the sun. It is distributing that energy from the Birkeland current. Three strands of energy coming from creation. Three not two. He's pointing out leaves where he rolls them up and he talks about how it's left with the double halo. It also has the stem, which is the third spike in the energy flow in a leaf. It translates from big to little. There's three strands of energy in the Berkman current. You can see it with your eyes. Just like you can see this planet drawing in energy from her bow shock through the accretion disk, the center of her magnet. That is where she will distribute that to all life on her, including your magnet in your chest. That is how you get your energy. It is through first creation like a fuel filter it keeps out what you can't handle because the Berkeley current would blow your body right the fuck apart it has to come through the sun distributed to the planets and then thus to the life there on the planet now even in Lee's book he speaks of first creation first creation should not be discounted First creation should not be worshipped. Again, we are on semantics, however. Some people refer to them as angels. Well, she is your angel of creation. Not to be worshipped, but to be symbiotically attached to, with the same frequency. You let go of the world and embrace your duty in creation and become an inheritance of her strength. Do you see the strength of her magnet? That can be yours too, but you can't do it for self, and you can't do it out of division in your heart. You have to lose hate for anybody and anything on this planet, and hold hope that one day, People like Scientific Lee will fucking shut their mouth, open their eyes, and look at the reality around them. Stop taking down videos just because it exhibits 1748 hertz, where Lee claimed on his own video that he discovered omnipresence at 1748 hertz. Well, that was actually discovered on the back of a hieroglyph, right in the middle of it. Raw Maps is a good video to look at. It's on this channel. It's all over the internet. If you want to see the initial, and still to this day, real translation that has been verified by several linguists, 
which I am not. That's why I handed it to linguists to check it out. I don't just sit here and talk and tell you things coming out of my ass. My words would change, or I would have to read off of a script. And y'all watch me 12 hours a day. No, I'm not reading off of a fucking script. I'm playing with my field, which in the previous video, I just proved that you can do. So did science. Matter coalesces because of frequency. And in each atom, there's a muon that rides on that EM field at 1748 hertz. Each atom takes its energy in from creation. Through the process I've just explained, it comes through the Birkeland current from Creator. It comes to the sun. The sun distributes it to the planets through their accretion disks and they distribute it to all life and all atoms and all fucking everything on them including your chest you're very much alive you're very much alive through creation and design there's a whole process that some people leave out and they want to look at matter as dead matter at the very center of each and every atom is very vibrantly alive because it's all on the EM field. The EM field is entangled with every atom, every magnet, thus giving it life. It has life. Every cell in your body is life. It's not dead. There is hope. Your creator designed you to be the difference here. And as long as you hold on to the world and the lies that it has put out in writing as some kind of word of God, without so much as even searching out the original books of that book before Roman emperors and kings and queens got their fucking hands on them. Just the fact that you're sitting here reading about a tablet of destiny. And the crown and scepter handed down from planet heaven by Anu, the fucking great creator God, all of a sudden you start looking at the construction of the fucking royal throne and it is literally constructed to fit the tablets of destiny in so the queen could sit on them before she died. It wasn't fashioned after her, it was fashioned after the tablets of destiny that we read about in the Bible canon, original books of the Bible. Anybody coming at you with Jebus needs to fucking go back and read the original books before Emperor Constantine or King James got their hands on it and twisted it over and over again. That blind faith instills fear, fear of God. Look, this is your father, your creator. Why would you fear your creator? What have you done? Comes to mind. Stop doing that. 